The spirit of heaviness is a member of Satan's kingdom. The spirit of heaviness is a person without body and evil spirit. The spirit of heaviness is a feeling of being depressed, dull, unhappy, and weighted down mentally. It is like a fog that covers our joy. It makes our mind feel gloomy and dark, like we cannot see through it, with a sense of fear and failure, like a floating anxiety without a reason. Doctors in America diagnose us with depression and anxiety as a chemical problem. However, because they do not understand this spirit well, they do not know it can also be a spiritual attack from an evil spirit. The adversary opposes us in our walk with God. He uses many tricks and devices. One of his tactics is to send a spirit of heaviness upon us. The book of Isaiah chapter 61 verse 3 tells us that Jesus will come to give us a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. A spirit of heaviness is a demon that seeks to oppress us with hopelessness, with depression and despair. It wants to push us down with burdens and place a dark cloud over us. A spirit of heaviness can gain access to a person's life through a variety of ways. It can be our own sin and rebellion that opens the door. It can also come into our lives through experiencing various types of traumas, abuse, and through a familiar spirit that follows your bloodline for generation. Because life is spiritual, all of our battles are waged in the spiritual realm. And because of that, the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 tells us, to put on the full armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The reality is Satan comes not to bother you, but to steal, to kill and destroy you. He is not interested in just trying to torment you. He wants to take you out. You are a threat to his rule. Do not let him win. Satan wants you bound by a spirit of heaviness. Often, we can mistakenly think that something is wrong with us, or that we are depressed or just burdened. The good news is, God's holy word in the Bible says to put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, and he will make you a tree of righteousness. The problem we are having is in our mind. The devil reaches people through their minds. The more we trust in our minds, the more Satan is able to use it against us. It is up to us to make our mind realize that it is our servant, not our master. Our minds are affected by our thoughts, so we must take charge of what we think. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 3 to 5 tells us, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty in God, for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. To overcome the spirit of heaviness, we first must recognize this is not you. You are a child of God. This is not God's will for you. Romans 8 verse 31 tells us, What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Praises takes away the dullness in our spiritual eyes and put our focus back on the hand of the Lord at work. Praise is a powerful thing. Thankfulness changes hearts and renews mind. David repeatedly chose praise in the midst of difficult time and trying circumstances. Paul drew his strength from God by praising his name and remembering his faithfulness in all things. Even while in prison, Paul and Silas choose to praise God in a song instead of wallowing in their misery. Tonight we are going to pray to put on the garment of praise and we are going to pray for God to deliver us from the spirit of heaviness. Let us pray. Isaiah 61 verse 1 to 4 The spirit of the servant Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the way of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of heaviness. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of His splendor. They will rebuild the ancient ruin and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations. Lord, I forgive others. Therefore, I am forgiving for my sins. Anyone who has ever wronged me or someone I loved in any way, I forgive them now. 1 Peter 2 verse 24 clearly shows, Jesus bore in his body all my sins. 
Isaiah 53 verse 5 states, Christ was pierced for my transgressions and bruised for my iniquities. So all my sin, transgressions, and iniquities cleanse away by the power of the blood of Jesus, and I am washed clean. Heavenly Father, I come to you today on behalf of my own life, but also representing my family, my bloodline, my household, and my ministry. I also come to you on behalf of my ancestors of flesh and blood, as well as spiritual ancestors, the city I live in, the region I lived in, and my nation. I know we have sinned before you. As I confess and repent of this sin during this renunciation, I am also doing so on their behalf as well. In the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, I bind every satanic spirit of any kind at work in my life or my family right now. Whether you are in us, attached to us, or in any way connected to our lives, you are now under the authority of the resurrected Lord Jesus Christ and under his blood. You will not harm us in any way. When you leave us, you will take all your residue, everything you have sown, all that is of your kingdom, any sickness, any bacteria, any fungus, any virus, any cancer, any death or infirmity with you. You will take all your oppressions, all your heaviness and influence with you, and you will go straight into the abyss as you leave us. You will not go to someone else as you leave us. You will not split, divide, multiply, fragment, clone, and I take away all your robes of authority, every crown, and every scepter. You will not use any form of demonic trickery or deception. If you have already split or divided, you will rejoin as one spirit immediately. All demonic traffic will be one way, that is straight into the abyss. You will not pass your duties unto other satanic spirits, call on others to help you, use revolving doors, or re-entry by any means or demonic spirits. Whether you are hiding or sleeping using shelves of darkness corners coming and going or floating in free circulation, you are now under the authority of the resurrected Lord Jesus Christ and the power of his blood, and you will be obedient. You are commanded. You cannot communicate with other demons at this time to scheme, to plot, to plan, or devise a way to retain this kingdom. This kingdom will be completely destroyed forever tonight. You are commanded you will restore everything you have stolen. In fact, I command you to restore sevenfold what you have stolen since the Bible clearly states when a thief is caught, he has to restore sevenfold, though it costs him the wealth of his house. I command you to repair all damage you have caused our spirits, our souls, our bodies, our lives in any way, making it as though it never happened, thus making restitution for all your evil deeds. Every disorder you created, you will put back in other as Yahweh God intended it to be immediately. I commend that Satan, you are bound from the heavenlies or any other realms from being able to assist this satanic kingdom in me or in my family in any way. This satanic kingdom at work in my life and my family will be completely destroyed and removed forever. Any satanic spirit of any kind that have been sent to hinder this deliverance in any way will live immediately tonight. I now command every satanic spirit to line up in other of rank, and I separate the highest ranking demonic spirit from any others. You will gather up all that you have commanded, and you will take it with you, and go directly into the abyss right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I know that allowing my mind to agree with the spirit of heaviness is a great evil. I ask forgiveness for any sins, any rebellion, any iniquities that has given place to heaviness or infirmity in my life, and all I am representing in this prayer today. I ask forgiveness and repent of all, having no sense of purpose in my life, feelings of failure as far as believing I have failed to fulfill what I have been created to do, focusing on failures of my past and dwelling on the past too much excess sleeping or eating, feeling of loss mental or emotional problems, including depression, isolation, suicidal, thoughts of physical problems caused by heaviness or infirmity, sexual sins of any kind looking for acceptance or feeling close to someone, isolation away from people or church family to be in the dark, shutting lights, pulling down drapes, perceiving everything from a negative perspective, thinking everyone is against you, Thoughts of hopelessness, despair, severe discouragement, 
or depression, excessive sorrow, grief, mourning, self-pity, or overwhelming sense of guilt, self-hatred, low self-esteem, self-accuse, or being rejected when I am not suicidal thoughts. Oh, I can't go on. I can't take any more. Despair or rejection, dwelling on traumatic events that have happened, comparing my life accomplishment to others, depressed and, and not content with my life circumstances, looking at other things to make me happy other than the Lord, comparing myself to media images or stereotypes that are really based on the average person, allowing others to affect me based on their opinions of me as a person, where I should be in life or how things should be in my life placing a lot of confidence in others, allowing demonic influence to affect my mind, my emotions and perception, entertaining negative thoughts I shouldn't have, and not renewing my mind, allowing the enemy to cause me to feel rejected by God, feel God is not faithful to his word, is ignoring me, or would do things for others but not for me. The enemy trying to make God look like a liar to me, but I put a broken heart and all inner wounds under the blood of Jesus Christ, I renounce and destroy dark countenance tonight. I renounce and destroy a hard downcast of heaviness, oppression, dim vision, robbing hope or making things look darker than they are. A heavy oppressive feeling of quenched fate, a dark heavy cloud overhead. The enemy's work is to isolate, to steal love, making me feel alone, stealing my purpose or trying to shut me down. I ask you for justice as you are the righteous judge. I ask that you make every area of heaviness, depression, suicidal tendencies, infirmities, weakness or discouragement in my life as though all the negative has never been there because all things are possible with you. I ask you to make it seven times better than if heaviness or infirmity have never been at work in the first place. I humble myself before you tonight, Father. Heaviness and infirmity have caused a lot of misery in my life in the past. I ask you for grace to overcome. I cannot win this battle on my own flesh or abilities. I am not powerful enough, strong enough, or wise enough, but I know your grace is sufficient. I ask that the awesome power of the blood of Jesus saturate every area of heaviness or infirmity that has been at work in my life or family's life. I ask that your precious Holy Spirit fill those areas and bring change. I will be careful to give you all the glory as the victory is won. Let my faith arise and help me to change what I need to change. Help me renew my mind and change the way I think and see things. Help me to see and understand what I need to do so I can overcome. And all I am representing before you today, Lord, I forgive all who have caused rejection or trauma in my life or lives of my ancestors. I know many times these dark forces enter someone's life through trauma. I forgive and put those trauma events under the blood of Jesus Christ right now. I destroy every work of Satan that has been in my life or my family life because of these things. Whether it be a curse, bondage, yoke, a stronghold, weak area causing fear, any health problem, relational problem, financial problems, or any other work of Satan, I destroy it now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the spirit of heaviness, infirmity to come out of me and my family and go as you have commanded it right now. According to Galatians 3 verse 13, Jesus paid for my freedom. I am redeemed from the curse of the law. I choose to be free, and by the power of the blood of Jesus, I am free. All satanic spirit under authority of heaviness or infirmity, or if you are in me or my family because of heaviness or infirmity, come out now and go right now in the name of Jesus. Anything to do with the spirit of rejection, spirit of torment and suicide, depression, self-hatred, Feelings of unworthiness, isolation, discouragement, often and grief, deep sorrow, guilt and shame, sickness and disease, death and infirmity, anguish, affliction, torment, pain, spirit of weakness or feeling of failure. Go from me right now in my family and do as you have been commanded in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you that you pay for my freedom at the cross. You were pierced for my transgression and bruised for my iniquity. You became a curse for me. By your stripes I am healed. I thank you for the victory in hearing and answering my prayer tonight. I thank you that me and my family are free by the power of the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, to God be all the glory. Amen.